If you want to create more short form content for your TikTok, Instagram or YouTube shorts, then take a look at this new Canva AI tool. With this tool, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create YouTube shorts in a heartbeat. So let's get started and jump right in. To create your very own shorts through Canva, you need to have a Canva account. You can either have the pro or the free version. You can find the link for that in the description down below. And now let's get started with creating our videos. Canva just released a new feature. It's called Magic Studio. And once we are at Magic Studio, we go over to Magic Design for video. And here we can try it out. So we click on Try Magic Design. And now it brings us to a new tablet where we can start importing our footage. I already have some footage right here, but for this video, I'm going to use some of my travel footage. And later on, I will also show you how you can use this tool to create like normal videos. But first, let's get started with the shorts. So I got some footage of my holiday in Croatia. And let me select all of that. If you want to import your own footage, then you can just click on this button right there. And then you can start importing your footage. But I already have it right here. So I'm just going to use these six videos that I have right here. And now I can select like a prompt that I want to use to create these videos. So for the prompt, I'm going to do something like create a fun travel video from my footage. Now, once we are happy with that, we can click on generate and now it starts generating our video. This generally works pretty fast. As you can see right now, it's already almost done. It takes like 10 to 20 seconds to generate this. And now our video is pretty much done. So let's take a look at it right now. So that looks pretty good already. And the fun thing is it automatically knew that it was a trip in Croatia. It automatically knew the like city names. It sees like, hey, I'm riding by bicycle right here or that I'm sitting by the pool. Like the AI automatically detects that. It's actually like kind of scary that this is possible right now, but it will save us a lot of time while going through the editing process. So one thing that's immediately catching my eye is that I don't really like the font. So if I want to change it, then I'm just going to zoom a little bit in. I'm going to click on the text right here. And then on the left hand side, we can change the text. So we can go through all of these fonts that are in Canva. You can also use your brand fonts if you have them. So if you have your own brand kit, then you can use that. That will save you actually a lot of time when using Canva for this. And now let's see what it looks like if we were to use a different font. So this is a lot more basic. I like something clean like this, but I also don't want to have it too big. So let me actually change the positioning as well. So for example, this font impact, it always does the job. It is clear, nice and easy to read. So I'm just going to go with this style. Now, a quick and easy tip for you to use is to use this copy style button. And now we just click on this and now it changed into that style as well. Then we hit it again. And now we do the same right here. And now we copy it again. Same here. Copy it again. Same right here. So now our text looks something like that. Keep in mind, I didn't change the first one because I really like how it looks. So yeah, that's pretty clean already. What we can do now is we can add some elements in there. So for example, let's say on the bike ride, we want to add like an element of bike riding. So here we have a few graphic options that we can choose from. We can even do animated ones. Most of them are only available for the pro version, but you can also add like images into that. So let's say we want to add in something like this. Then we drag it underneath there. Then we can make it smaller. Now we center it and now we have this in there. If we want to animate it, then we click on animate. And now we have all of these different transitions that we can choose from. And for example, the fade looks pretty nice. You can also do like a drift. But for me, I would just do the fade. You can also change the speed duration. So if you want to make it faster, then you drag it all the way to the right and then it appears really fast. Or if you want to make it slower, then you drag it all the way to the left now it appears really slow so i'm just going to keep it in the middle and now we have that animated besides that you can also add some text in there for example right here i have the text and let's say i want to add like pool party in there then i'm just going to hit it and we have pool party right here and now let me change the color to something better let's do orange and then we have this in there 
Now I want to animate this also, but I want to make it pop a little bit. So let me see which we have for that. So this one pulse looks really cool for that. So now we have an animation in there and it is looking much better already. Let's say you want to change the music, then what you do in there, you go to elements, then you scroll down until you see anything that has to do with music. You click see all. And here we can select any type of music that we want. So I want to have something more upbeat. Now you can listen to all of these and then select the one that you'd like. We can even change the transitions in between the scenes and the way we do that is as follows. So we click in between the scene, there we have our transition. Right now I'm using the flow effect which I really like. But you can also do something like stack it on top or match and move. You can do anything that you'd like. So for example the color wipe is also pretty good if you want to include like your brand colors in there. For the first one, I'm actually going to do this color wipe and now we can change the colors as well. But they are already branded in a similar type of color as my text is. So I'm just going to keep it that way. But if you want, you can change the colors. You can also change the direction and you can also change the duration of your transition. Now, once you're happy with your YouTube short, then we can click on share. And here we go down to download. Here we select 1080p. You can also upscale it to 4K. But keep in mind that platforms like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, they all probably downscale it to 1080p max. So I'm going to keep it on that. And then we make sure we have selected all the pages and then we can download them. Now, let me give you another example of a YouTube short that you can create with Canva. And it is as follows. So for this, I'm going to use a Instagram reel. It's the same format as a YouTube short is. And keep in mind, you can also do this with normal videos as well. But now I'm going to do a new format like this and I'm going to hit like generate videos instantly. It should be right here. Otherwise, you can search for it as well. But now we click on it and now we can select our footage. So here I have a footage about coffee. So let me select the videos that I would like to have in there. Once you have at least three clips selected, then you can start making your prompt. And for this video, I'm going to do create a promo video about the benefits of drinking coffee. Now I'm going to hit generate. And here we have a new reel in a different style. This one looked pretty cool as well. I really like that it has generated these health facts about coffee and I haven't had to put any text into it. So the only thing that I didn't like was this bit like right here. Um, it was pretty much blocking his face. So I'm going to just drag this down underneath that. But other than that, it looks pretty good. And keep in mind, if you want to change anything, then you can follow the steps that we have taken in the previous video. We can just simply adjust it and then we're done. So this is basically how you can edit your shorts with the help of Canva AI. If you want to edit more shorts with the help of AI and you want to use different tools, then check out the video that's on the screen right now.